Hey everyone, this is Denichi. Welcome to the bonus episode of Let's Play Thief Gold. I'm going to be showing two uh, things mainly in this episode. So, first thing I'm going to show you is actually a little easter egg in the training mission. So if we click on expert difficulty and uh, yeah, let's start training. Let's skip this. Don't need that. Yeah, there we go. Welcome, young Hi. Garrett. In the nearby rooms, it's I been will a long time since I remember this part. You will need to survive. Please stay in the entrance area to each room. I know, I know. Explain Come on, the room's here. purpose. When you are ready to begin your lessons, right. proceed down this hallway to the first room. So this Easter egg. You must learn how to move unseen. Stay right, in the shadows. I'm sorry. Avoid the light. The indicator Excuse me, on I'm trying to talk will here. tell you how visible you are. Try to reach the top of the platform without being seen. Try again. Remember, well stay done. out of the well-lit area until you reach the platform. Open this door to continue. When the door is near the center of your screen, I get it. <laughs> all right, all right. Indicating that Come it down. is selected. Come down. To manipulate selected doors and other objects, use them. Now you must learn to move quietly. Some surfaces are louder than others when walked upon, and moving quickly makes more noise than moving Very slowly. Good. Listen to your own you footsteps to, to hear how much noise you are making. The instructor will have his back turned. You must get to the top of the platform uh, without being heard. Uh, embody, disembodied Beyond voice, we're done. a hallway that will lead you to your next task. Thank you, okay. Now I can talk. Alright, this easter egg. This easter egg is something that you can only do on the expert mission, uh, or the expert training. Now get your weapons. To pick it's up objects, select here, them by actually. centering them on So if we actually, uh, up, shoot this stuff quickly. Then use them. Choose your weapon now. Try ready. we do this quickly, and, and then... then you can always put uh, them away this again with if you need sword. your hands free. Now let's go out to the courtyard for some target practice. There we go. Ready your bow. Knock and then there should be stuff up here. Actually, no, I think we have to hit this Make guy sure first. Make sure you draw all the way back, or your shot will not have full power. Take aim, and when you are ready to shoot, release your attack. See if you can hit one of these targets. All right. Good shot. Keep there we practicing go. if you wish. Get this key. When you are ready to proceed, and we can get this training too. dummy right. and ready your sword. Swing now, if we walk past this guy over here, a quick tap will give you a slash. Move the tip of your sword to the left of the target for a left slash, Over and to here. the right of the target Open this for a right slash. Hold the attack button down, then release for an overhead swing. Try both slashes and the overhead swing on the practice dummy. Good job. You're ready for a live opponent. To practice against Dude, your partner, we're done. enter the cobble <laughs> sparring that already. area. Well done. Thank Keep you. sparring if you wish. I don't want to spar. When you are done, leave the sparring I'm, area. I'm That's done. enough sparring for today. Yes, it is enough Please sparring. Please walk over to the table. Please Would stop you care talking. For some refreshment before we move on. I already have Young it. It's right here. Please pick up all of the items on this table. Cycle through your inventory I've already, I've already done to see the right. objects you have in your it's pocket. It's cool. Shh, shh, calm Once down. Once an object it's is right. displayed, right. you may I know, use it. I know, You're slow. Have something to eat okay. if you wish. Then you may proceed. Right. The next test is waiting on the other side of the metal door. The door is locked, but the key from the table will open it. To I, unlock the door, yes, select the I know. key in your it's, inventory. It's okay, dude. It's okay. Center the door on screen I understand. until it lights all right. up. Then use the key You had a the bad door. childhood. Are we done? Thank you. We're done. All right, now the Easter egg. Finally, I can get to this. The stupid disembodied voice stops talking. This is what I've been told. This is where they've been practicing the the physics engine. Uh, uh, Looking Glass Studios. In a lot of their games, they they like to put in basketball Easter egg for some reason, because this is how they they tested out the the engine for the physics engines and everything. So they just left this in here for a nice little Easter egg. Let's see if I can make a. Let's see if I can make a hoop. Eh. No, Gary has some powerful arms. <laughs> he should he should quit his thieving ways and become a MLG, or ML MLB. Yeah. Yes. I did it. Can I slam dunk? I want I want to try slam dunking. I think I can dunk this. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, so close. All right, one more time and then <laughs> we'll move on. Come on, dunk, dunk, dunk. Must. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, <laughs> I'm done. Okay. So this isn't actually it. There's actually this little bedroll over here. Normally you can't really do anything with bedrolls, but this one's actually special because if you try to right click it. It opens up a quotes, quotes from the Dark Team, during the development of Thief the Dark Project. 
is it, it I mean in it there's a bunch of uh, quotes from all the people who uh, all the people who just created the game a lot of them are actually pretty hilarious if you guys want to look over I'm not gonna go over each and every one but I'm probably gonna just scroll through this so you guys can can pause and check them out if you want to they're actually <laughs> a lot of them are actually pretty hilarious um, I have a lot of respect for the, the developers of this game. Going through this. Like this one. Physics system is a harsh mistress. It's his butt that has the velocity. Enough dancing! More singing! This quote list isn't sure going to help me convince my mom that I'm not gay. Yep. Of course. So, I don't think I can actually drop this for me. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so that's the first thing I want to show you guys. This quote list of nice, uh, fantastical quotes from the development team. And this basketball for testing the physics engine. Now, oh yes! I dunked it! Yes! <laughs> it must be the shoes! He's on fire! Oh, alright. Alright, so... Where'd you go? Oh. So, I showed this off. Now, there's one more thing. Do you want to play b-ball? I guess not. Alright. Well, there's one more thing that I'm going to show off. Alright. And I'm going to cut away till, till I, so I can set that up. So, I'll see you uh, right now. Alright. I'll be back. I have a simple job planned for this evening. Break into a guarded mansion, steal another fat nobleman's priceless trinket, and leave quietly. Lord Bafford is out of town, and rumor has it that the captain of his house guard went with him as a bodyguard. The time is ripe for a bit of burglary. The front gate of Lord Bafford's manor is always guarded, and the main street is far too exposed. But Cuddy tells me there's a better way in. Around to the side, more out of the way. One guard, and likely no witnesses to complicate matters. The piece Cuddy wants is a scepter. Silver, jewels, the usual adornments. It should command a high price. Bafford, like most of his kind, probably keeps his treasures on the top floor of the place, close to his heart, and far from his servants. No point in waiting. I have Cuddy's old sketches of the place and everyone who's going to be asleep inside already is. It's time to begin. All right, here we are guys, checking out the blooper reel. Now this is a, an extra mission that they, they kind of tagged on as an Easter egg. If you go into, in order to access this, you can't really access this through normal game. In order to access it, you have to go to the user's CFG files in the Thief Gold files. If you have it on Steam, then it should be around Steam apps. Uh, after that, you put Star Mission 16 or something like that. I'm, I'll show it on screen so you guys can, can get a feel for it. Anyways, once you do that, you save that on the use, user CFG. Then you can access the blooper reel, which, as you saw, has a pretty high budget intro, you know. That was a better budget than that could have, making an intro. Objectives, it doesn't matter what difficulty you're on. I'm gonna put this on normal so I can have the extra health. All it says is tour the level and see some of the things that cropped up as bugs during production of Thief, and some other that exist only in our rather twisted imaginations. When you've seen all you care to, press the button in the main entrance. Okay. I can actually buy some stuff. Uh, I don't think we really need anything. <laughs> I'll just get water arrows because that's what my heart tells me to do. Alright. So here we are. I've I've rarely actually seen this um seen this. I've seen it once when I first played the game. But other than that all this is kinda new to me. Alright, that's that's the same thing. 
check it this out. Okay, I can almost swear that that wind noise is just someone go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's just some going. Dude, these things hurt me. Nah. Stafford, graffiti. Bunch of triangles everywhere. Sorry if I'm, I'm a bit quiet. I'm, I'm trying to also experience this well, well, I'm exploring it too. Alright, let's. What's this? This is Jorge, our default texture. We made it as. Excuse me. We made it as eye catching as possible to keep us from accidentally shipping anything colored this way. And that makes sense, I mean. <laughs> Pretty much stands out. Alright, I like. I guess this is the only way inside the inside the mansion. Hello. Your arms seem a bit stiff. Do you need a massage? I can. I can fix your right up. This is your last chance. Be No. face the consequences. No, honestly, just show me your back, and I can. I can. That's why I can't stand all right. <laughs> this is awkward. Also, apparently, this guy just shoots uh, apples at me. Yeah, okay, let me kill these guys because these guys are pretty annoying. Oh, are they dead? Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> uh, stay there. This is like some sort of messed up William Tell. I'm gonna leave this guy here. He's not hurting me. What's this? Don't press this button. Got it. All right, these sick dancing zombies. I'll dance with them. I'm dancing. Trust me, these are killer moves. I'll leave these guys to their dancing. Oh, that's awkward. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to to encroach on your private moment here. <sighs> oh, hi. <laughs> you okay? You seem to be having trouble here. What's... Uh... What's, what does it say? Trying to get your friend Cuddy from Craigslist to lie on the ground took more programmer and designer hours than you ever believed, and it still never worked. Hours before the final shipping build, we gave up and made him stand. Okay, so apparently this is what um, it looked like before when they had Cuddy just laying down on the ground. You know, it's really weird to think that that's such a, a difficult thing to program, to just have a character model just laying on the ground. Let's take this guy out of his misery. Yeah. Pick him up. There we go. <laughs> You're fixed! Need all these programming hours to just kill him. Kill him and be done with it. Yeah, that's why. Is there anything interesting here? Tatha! Alright, that's not very interesting. What does this say? Same projectiles, but given zero launch velocity, are odder than others. Hmm. So, yeah, another thing about the code is that whenever you shoot an arrow, it gives you a, a launch velocity like this. And... <laughs> it just moves extremely slow. So if you just shoot it, you can just pick it up back up. That's pretty sick. It's like a matrix. What else is around here? Our final design for bug bees facing off against the original concept. So... As creepy as what the original... I mean, what the bug bees now look like, the original bug bees was actually really creepy. I can get a closer look. Ah, 
Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was actually a giant undead woman. And it's a good thing that they didn't put that, because that's nightmare fuel right there. Default weight for many objects was 30 pounds. However, the heat disc. Excuse me. Would you kindly? Right, there we go. However, the heat disc for fire, which makes a circular warping effect, had that weight, it would often bounce off your chest and knock across the room or even kill you. So, if I do a quick save right here, test this out. Oops, try that. Oh, I think, I think the, the patch I have for this actually saved, I mean, actually um, fixed that. <laughs> it actually fixed the, the bug they left in, so that's unfortunate. But yeah, apparently that thing would just bounce around. Uh, you okay, buddy? Uh, <laughs> that's not the noise humans should be making. You are not real. That's really strange. Apparently they're gonna have um, beeric meat for for dinner. Hi. Now this guy can hurt me. All right, let's just end them. There we go. <laughs> Frozen. Perfect. Oh, some more, uh, some more b-ball. I wonder, will this actually activate the... Yeah, it will actually activate the gongs. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a throne room. <laughs> How pretentious can you get? Ah, that kind of throne room. All right. <laughs> Good job. Wanted thief for the theft of stolen... Enough. Oh, here we are. Uh, our renders were able to manage mirrors. The players, thief players might have been startled to find that Garrett's image wasn't as impressive as the box art cover. So <laughs> apparently, this is actually what Garrett looks like right now. He's he's just a giant uh, stick, just a giant plank of wood. Reminds me of that that character from. Um, from Edit and Eddie. Plankton? Or Plank? I think his name is. Uh, did I get the Stucks? I think I got the Stucks. Yeah, I'm, this, I'm, I'm double stucked. Help! <laughs> Do I have like fire gas? Can that knock me out? Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> These things don't work. Alright, quick save. Let's get back over there. You asked for it. You asked for it. I just want here uh, die for a second. Oh, this guy can actually hurt me. <laughs> Who are you? What have you done with the with the fake one? Oh, you're the <laughs> you're the one with the weird noises. Alright, let's get back over. Oops. Oh. Yeah. That was awkward. <laughs> okay. Doors. They work. Alright, let's get back up here. I said let's get back up here. Uh, did Garrett lose his ability to use his arms? There we go. Yeah, I, I keep getting stuck there, so... I guess we have to find other, other means to do that. Oh, these are the bug beasts. What about over here? Seems like they closed off that door that was there in the original mission. Uh, 
I probably need this guy's key. Here, let me break your face. Thank you. Freeze in place. Was there anything over here that I missed? This is the bug beast again, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's head back over here. <laughs> Stupid. Here, lock. Yeah, I can't go through. Oh no, you can't. Ha! You suck! Is there anything interesting in here? Does not look like it. What about here? Again, again with that lovely grade A um, noise. Does this still work? Yeah. Jump to see a bug we accidentally shipped with. Trying to see the bug. I'm not actually sure what this is. Um, I guess they they left this area in. And it was supposed to be an entirely different place. I'm not too sure. All right, apparently this wood is made of like fly glue because I get stuck every time. So I'm actually not gonna try that again. Again, I don't know what that is. Interesting. Is, is this a diving board? Oh yeah. I hear you there. <laughs> uh, I'm bouncing all over the place. When I find you, hey, Getting correct buoyancy for players in water took some work. Initial values caused players to sink like rocks or bob like corks. I can feel that alright. That actually feels pretty nice though. I don't know, something about that makes me makes me happy. Are you uh, this way! Are you uh, funny? He's alright, he's a cool guy. What is that noise? Oh there's Jorge. Hi Jorge. <laughs> What's that noise? Hearing, uh, oh, that that that's a quick door. That door has no has no chill. Here are some of the <laughs> some of the artistic renditions of, of the art that they have. <laughs> that's a great horse. Is that a fish for arms? <laughs> All right. Here's more. Ah, oh, check this out. <laughs> we can go some. We can do some bowling. <clears throat> oh, it doesn't work. It's floating. <laughs> it's mystical. Who's there? Help! Help! Oh no, Who's that's. There? He's got a bow. That's just wrong, dude. Oh, and you're also kind of nude. Uh, let me knock you out, cause your body is not correct. That's not anatomically correct. Alright, apparently these guys are cooking human meat and uh, beeric. Cool. I can dig it. I swear I've never seen a living this far. The implements a gas belching beeric ran into some trouble at first. No launch velocity and a failure to specify which joint the gas emitted from. Quickly led to the creature farting to death. And as we see here. Hey guys, come on. There you go. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Exhaust. Exhaust from the back. This is a really strange sight. 
<laughs> so cute! Like little Godzillas. Little Godzilla babies. I'll leave them to, to their gassy endeavors. This is another thing they actually wanted to implant. They wanted to give uh, servants the ability to do karate. But as you can tell, it looks really awkward. It's like they're, they're bitch slapping me, so... Oh, they actually don't die. Alright, well... Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure that those noises aren't actually from the, the original game. Oh, here we are, more dancing zombies. Dance for me. I'm gonna have to kill these guys. <laughs> so, apparently, there's a, a drinking escapade over here. This is where all Baffert's men. Here, I might as well pick up something for myself. <laughs> Makes sense. Let's take all of this. Let's leave these guys over here. Just a, a, just a room with Jorge in it. Up here. So if we head over here, here we are. Fireworks displays. So pretty. God bless the city. Taffer bless the city. That's actually really pretty. What else is there to see? Guys are still going at it. Uh, don't don't mind me. I'm just, I mean, I'm just over here. Here we are. This guy, <laughs> the guy who imploded upon himself. <laughs> Hi, buddy. All right. So this is uh, what happens when the character model uh, glitched, apparently, and they tried to make like a small guy. <laughs> he just makes like a little. A little high-pitched noise. <laughs> oh, my little buddy. You... You're not gonna go far in life. Oh, you can block. <laughs> Alright, cool dude. Hey, come back here. Can't leave, can't leave you going around in modern society. Can I pick up? Nah, I can't pick him up. That's sad. Alright. Well, I believe that's all I wanted to show off. I don't think there's anything else of interest around here. Alright. Well, I guess... In that case, let's just go back and... Let's just go back and, um... Exit out of this mission. Alright, it's been fun, but... Fortunately, we have to call this... Uh, got this to an end. Let's finish this madness. Mission complete indeed. Alright. So, hope you, hope you guys enjoyed that. This is the last episode I'll be doing of, of Thief Gold. Um, yeah, it's been a great, great time, so... In that case, I guess I'll see you when I come up with something else I want to let's play, alright? Again, not going to be like a, a 20 year hiatus like I did the first time. Uh, probably just take like a week or two off, alright? So I'll see you in the next project I have planned. See you guys later. Bye bye!